hello everyone welcome to my channel today i'm going to discuss about uh, changing the ip address of a ubuntu machine so today we are going to do it from cli as it is a server so i will go to the console i have done some network changes so i need to uh, change the ip address of the machine okay so what we need to do is i will try to log in first with my normal user and i want to see that i have uh, given the correct uh, password okay yeah. so basically if i if i try to ping uh, the gateway or if i try to ping google.com here so it will not ping and uh, i will i will if i try to ping uh, the gateway or dns server it will uh, it is showing that unreachable because as you can see it is pointing to a gateway which is not uh, really a gateway which is active at this moment so i will show you how you can use a nano command to change the uh, ip address of ubuntu machine and how you will apply those changes okay so the first thing is we need to navigate to a location which is uh, nano then slash etc slash net plan and then we will do a tab so you need to check that if there is multiple files are available but at this moment there is only one file so i also like to uh, tell you that you always back up this file whenever you are doing any changes because in case you are mess messing up with this so this may uh, cause a problem okay so what i will do is i will i will hit enter it says uh, permission denied okay i will do control x so why it is permission denied because we are logged in with a normal user so what i will do is um, su sudo su so i will i will be switching myself to a root id so that i don't need to i don't need to really um, type the command again and again i will do control l and now i will type the command again which is nano slash etc slash uh, net plan and then we will do this enter so now i can see as i said that uh, the ip address which has been set which is uh, dash uh, 25 so we are going to do some changes here i will uh, i will do a change here you need to use the same hierarchy same sequence in case you are doing any modification so in our case i will put uh, i will do, do few more, few more changes basically here so i will i will put like uh, which is 10 this is my series uh, 192.168.25/24 uh, and uh, i just want to see that the route is enabled as 192.168.1. route is quite equivalent to a gateway so what i will do is i will, I will change this one as well so i will i will make it like 192.168.10.1 and you just need to make sure that all the settings are correct so you can take a screenshot of this configuration you can follow along with the same one so this is the network Mm, uh, network uh, interface this is the address which we have mentioned along with the subnet this is the name server uh, where if you are putting the name server i am using the name server of google and cloudflare and also what you need to do is you need to mention a correct gateway which is a route from where your um, machine is going to talk to the internet world so now i will uh, type control x i will uh, i will do uh, why to save it it is going to give give you a f give you a chance to change the file name and here we are not going to do any changes i will i will hit this and now what i need to do is i need to write a command which is net plan in case you are uh, you are logged in with a normal user you need to use sudo i am logged in with a root now net plan and we will type apply 
it it says is it cannot call to the uh, uh, call to uh, cannot call to the v switch right and uh, what you can do is there could be a possibility it is unable to contact that is fine so what i will do is i will try to reboot and see the status before doing the reboot i just want to see the settings which we have done that is uh, showing up correctly so i will do a cat so it will show that whatever the settings we have given it has been updated so i'm fine with that i will do a reboot so reboot is better otherwise you can also run a network uh, service restart that is also you can do but i strongly believe when you are doing a network related changes if there is any application installed in my case there are multiple applications that are installed dockers are configured so i am going to reboot and see that if everything is uh, now it is able to talk to the um, able to talk to uh, talk to the internet or not right so we'll wait for few more minutes let's the container and all the things are going live so i will log in now now i will try to ping uh, the dns ip first Okay, now we are able to ping the DNS IP. So we cancel this. Now I will try to ping Google.com. So now you can see I am able to ping the Google.com. It is, it is clearly states that it is uh, the network is configured properly. The internet is working. So. Thanks for watching this video. I I would I would definitely ask you to um, subscribe our channel in case you have any questions. You can shoot out in the comment section. I will definitely try to respond it as soon as possible. Thank you. Take care, and we'll meet you in next video.